What's up Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with a new episode of our Abbasid campaign for 1212 AD Medieval Kingdoms. And in the last episode we did take from the Krasmarian pretenders this settlement, Nishapur. And uh, well they've got a very small army left. We'll deal with that with time. They're also starving so they'll, they'll be gone in no time at all. And then we can start to move one of these armies westwards to help in the push against the Crusaders. Uh, Silesia and Trebizond a bit as well and I imagine eventually when we eventually go for the Ayubids we'll take out well we'll take them as well um, so we've not actually got much left to do um, I could go after Georgia they are like an addition but they're not really like my main target they are up there but they're not like a main main target so um, I've st spent all my money I've guess I've done most of my I think I've done most of my diplomacy I'm just going to end the turn oh we've got an, a skill to give to this guy he is a governor. I will give him authority. And I'll give him more authority, I think. So there you go. Erbil is, uh, well, sorted now. That is good. So we'll end the turn there and we will see what happens. I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, enjoying. Well, it's bank holiday for us in the UK uh, as I'm currently speaking about this. Um, it's absolute banging day. So I hope you guys, um, any people that are from the UK and are watching this, I hope you're enjoying the sun and... Also enjoying this episode at some point though. You've got to be enjoying this episode at some point. You can't enjoy the sun too much. You've got to enjoy this goddamn episode. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate all the support, uh, all the likes, subscribes, and uh, comments at the moment. You guys keep it up. I fully appreciate it. Keeps this channel um, going and growing. And yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. But anyway, let's see what happens in this end turn. Not much so far. Looks like the HRE have moved a bit and the... Milanese are also attacking, but apart from that, nothing exciting. Uh, it looks like Acre has been relieved of its siege, as does Antioch, actually. Antioch looks like it's pretty safe. Uh, no, I'm not going to go to war with them. Someone did mention that they, the, um, my vassal doesn't look, look like it likes me very much. Probably because I just attacked it. It may slowly get better, but it won't be happy that it's attack that I'm allied with one of the people it's at war with. But apart from that, it should be okay. Yeah, as expected, uh, they they attacked. I kind of expected these guys might attack because they've got nothing better to do with their lives now. Oh, we actually lost some units and we lost Ghoul and Footguard. No. Absolute bastards. Taking that from me. And they came dangerously close to murdering one of my men. But lots of people have died. Uh, and... Of course lots of people died, Pope. You just had a battle. Um, can I recruit Gul and Foot Guard here? I can. Well, we'll replace them with no problems then. And we'll recruit more stuff here, so that can move along in no time. Kuhn Pretenders, we found them, and some other stuff's happened, which I'm not so interested in. Oh, this is under siege from my ally. Damn. Um, if I go to like... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where can you reach? You can go quite a long, long way. Okay, right. We're going to have to work this properly then. Oh, you can get around to here. So I could come to like here. I don't know. I want to attack Antioch by sea. Could I? I could do it if I went there. Yeah. Okay, so in one more turn I could attack Antioch. Excellent. Right, there we go. We can do that. Can I get the other one there? I could, in fact, get the other one there. So we'll do that. I'm going to sneak them around. And we're going to attack by sea. And they will never see it coming. And then we'll get loads more swords. And any more? Uh, no. Okay, so that's it. It's just some swords in Aleppo. Erbil. Uh, probably could upgrade it, but I'm not really wanting to mess with it. Uh, Mosul is neutral. What's the food state here? 40? Uh, well, that doesn't actually touch food. Let's put in a bigger mosque. Let's spend all our money on a mosque then, hey? We have an army down here that we're also recruiting. That is building just some... Che well, not cheap arches, some good arches. Um, then let's get some better... Some better, some more swords. Um, description of these units is impeccable but from me today. Uh, <laughs> Good. Uh, better. Yes. Of course they're good and getting better and whatever. 
These are some excellent units we have here. They've conquered half the world for us, along with uh, a lot of uh, cavalry. Uh, I'll just move the agents over here, and we'll try and get them, try and get them moving. Find some uh, armies to attack, possibly. Yeah, I just don't really want my ally taking Antioch. Really does uh, scupper my plans for leaving them on their own in the corner. I'd really just like them to... Uh... Well, could I make them a vassal? No, I didn't think so. You're going to plus 300. What are you going to, Gurids? You're actually going down. Wow. Why do you not arrange a marriage, though? I can offer a daughter. There we go. Right, I can get more money out of you from doing this. Not that much, though. Apparently... My daughter is not worth that much to you. How rude. She's ambitious. She's 19. That's very good for your 50. No, he's not. He's How old is he? He is 53 years old. Oh, that's wrong in so many ways. Okay. Well, ple a pleasure doing some sort of horrible business there. But hey, Ghazi, a 23-year-old, can have this 51-year-old. Lovely woman. I was about to call her hag, but uh, I've just done it anyway. I'm just saying that I was going to. I did it. Oh my gosh, they have a lot of money. There we go. Excellent. My money is well and true sword. I could build another huge mosque if I wanted to. Maybe I will. Or I will actually build in a small mosque. Because we haven't got one of those yet in Al Juaf. Um, Kufa, I could build a footwear headquarters if I wanted to. I haven't actually bought. Or built a pleasure house here, a fun duck. Why haven't I done that? That would have been a better idea. I do question myself sometimes. Anyway, there's a pleasure house there. Uh, and that's all the money. That's every bit of, that's every penny spent. I guess I could have built a mosque in Ray, but Ray just needs to have growth and I could just improve it anyway. Um then we'll end the turn. And hopefully we can attack Antioch by sea next turn and the Salgrids don't think, oh, okay, we've got the opportunity to take it now because the Abbasids are here. I hope they don't do that. If they do, I'll be very annoyed. Holy Roman Empire, are they going to do anything? Just move their agents around, maybe attack a few more people. Just keep starving their army as they try and find someone to attack. What are they doing? We will never know. Some will say the Holy Roman Empire only wanted to just visit the desert. Didn't actually want to go on Crusade. Just wanted to see the pyramids. Ah, Silesi did actually retreat. Which is good, in a way, because then I did save them in a... The are you bids? No, I'm not joining your war against Mercuria. I've made peace with Mercuria. We're friendly. I'll only make war with them again if they take Alexandria from you. Uh, no. You're also at war with Mercuria. I forgot about that. All my allies just hate Mercuria and just decided, yeah, it's willing willing to do that. Hopefully the Mongols can... Uh, maybe the Mongols could take the land from the Salgrids and then I get the Salgrid lands as vassal lands because the Mongols hold it. I guess that works. There you go. The Salgrids didn't take it. Thank God. And, okay, that place has been taken by a rebel faction. Smallpox? Where? No! Oh, and Ray. Of course, of all places. I just wanted to build them there. Don't mind me. I'm just going to come and take this for myself. It's going to take another turn? Surely not. It's surely not going to take another turn to get here. Oh, I can take it with this army, though. Don't mind me. Just going to take this for myself. That's Sneak 101 there. Um, yep, yeah, Antioch's mine. <laughs> Excellent, right. So we'll uh, probably repair that. What's this? It's a military port. I actually I'd rather... I guess I'll repair it and convert it to something else. Knock that down. Knock that down. Knock that down. Ah, this has got the Templar chapter house. Someone was saying that you can recruit stuff from here, but and this is down the wrong tree anyway. It needs to be on one of these ones. Yeah, see, if you look, I can't recruit anything with these here. Whoever was saying it, so it was clearly a bug. Um, nothing that I can do. We fight for you, yeah, can't recruit anything. I can build. I can upgrade these guys, though. Because there's a blacksmith's here. 
a large workshop. I'm going to knock that down. And large city I will keep and repair. And then you on Force March or Force Row can get on land again. And you're safe from any Silesian army now. Excellent. Uh, you can have armor for your unit, I guess. And have more in the integrity. Yet. In integrity. There you go. And then you can have that. And then you can have that. There we go. Can't recruit anything there. I guess I could upgrade these guys. Why not? Before I get rid of the blacksmith. My lord. Spend my money on upgrading people. What's the give? Armor. That's well, of course, that's what a blacksmith's for. Armor. Um, and then a military quarters. Go on. I will add military quarters. Uh Ray, yeah, not looking so good. It needs a sanitation area, really. It's still actually relatively happy as I move my agents on into just spying in Georgia. Just like the Russians, I will spy on the Georgian lands and report back on whether they're actually worthy invading. And apparently they are. Um, because, well, they might be. But we take an Antioch, that's good. We can then move on to Akko. We could probably take Cyprus if we wanted to. And probably might take... Oh, okay, they actually took this region down here from the Seljuks. I kind of would like to give that back to the Seljuks, but I don't think I could. But I... Don't really want to get too occupied. I might take this one and then just leave Silesia down here on its own. Do its thing. Because I think it's taken this just now. Oh no, no. It has taken it a few turns ago. Okay, very well. Um, I'll draw if you're looking okay. We've only got 100 left anyway. Um, Money and armies. Have you finished recruiting? You have. Gore can still go minus one. But I don't really need this army here. I'm going to take it westwards. I guess we'll follow the path of the of the agents and we'll go this way. Um, yeah, this army can, this army Allah's chosen can stay here. It can probably just administer over these. Uh, and if my vassal does decide to get out of hands, then that'll be fine. But it is improving. It's getting massively improved. Low. Um, I can't actually offer you any money. It's a shame. Can I? I can't do anything else. Not really. These guys, they don't really like me at all either. Don't know why I'm actually here. I'm wasting words. It's a good question. Um, and then I can see these guys up here. The Carnate of Volga, Bulgaria. They're at war with someone. I'm going to do non-aggression pact. Just so they don't declare war on me. But that, my vassal. I don't know. My vassal's there. And they probably hate me, hate me for making that alliance with them. Well, not that alliance, but that deal with them. But anyway, we'll end the turn. Principality of Antioch. There you go. Just in case you didn't know, they're gone. Um, they are dead. Not coming back. Not on my watch, anyway. I'm not allowing my allies to take land from them. Or, or from me. And Antioch is mine. It's a very prosperous city. And here comes the Holy Roman Empire again. Doing its tour of Egypt. What have you seen today, Holy Roman Empire? Well, I've seen some sand. And a lot more sand. That's all you have all they've done. What are you doing? Attack Cairo. The Fifth Crusade depends on it. Fifth Crusade's been and happened a long time ago as well. I think it failed. Oh, my priest came back. Oh, we got him this time. Excellent. Nice. That was probably why Mosul was not very happy, because my priest wasn't there converting stuff. Well, he can convert stuff now. They want me to join the war against these guys again. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm not doing it. I refuse. No one else doing anything interesting. Ah, my allies are going home. Good. We don't need you here. The Ottomans are attacking the Seljuks. One Turk attacks another. There you go. Right, so my spy actually, or my, not my spy, but my agent did a good job here. Um, yeah, just go back into converting this place to more Christianity, I guess. Oh my gosh, I can make this a huge city. Um, maybe. Maybe. I'm certainly going to put a pleasure house in, because it's not happy enough. This army could move down to Takaka at this point. I'm going to do it, because I don't think Aka's got a... Garrison, good garrison. No, it doesn't. Antioch. Okay. Um, just put some siege towers in. That'll do. Then Antioch. 
Can I convert some stuff? A mosque, yes. Uh, um, I can't convert that. Shame. Militia quarters, I could. I don't really want to yet. Food is kind of of the essence here, so we'll put in a camel herd. And then I don't really want this blacksmith. Obviously, blacksmith like upgrades are great and stuff, but I don't need them. And the West is not looking so good, though. The pleasures of my trade agreement. Are you I thought I had trade with these guys, but First, though, apparently not. The necessary burdens of diplomacy. Uh, that's too much. That much? Oh, that's high. There we go, moderate. Oh, not what I wanted. God damn it, military alliance with these god damn idiots. Oh, whatever. Have it. There. I got more money than I probably would have. My master I have a military alliance with them. It's not what I wanted to offer, but there. Uh, trade agreement. Um, I thought I had trade with these guys. Oh, no, I didn't because I didn't have a route to the sea. But now I do. Excellent. No. I don't want to join your war against the Sicilians. These insolent fools need silencing. Will your mighty armies... No, I'm not helping with my mighty armies. There, I'll have a 6,000 and that's... I beg you. I beg you, just listen to me. If your troops decide <laughs> in this war. Come on, man. Come on. Right, that's it. War it is. No. It's more prosperous to stay in peace. There we go. Except... God damn. God, it took far too much time and effort. Welcome. I can now see all the way around here. Uh, these people actually... Why do you hate me? Oh, because we're at war with all these people. Um, do any of the... Attitude, do any of the Christian nations actually have a slight bit of liking to me? Hasford pretenders might. They're actually at war with... I will do you obviously, the Hasford pretenders are at war with the goddamn... It's actually you. You're most likely to do anything with me. Speak. Trade agreement. Could I offer you a lot of money and we could get trade? Oh, yeah, I could actually, and they would probably say yes. But no, ah, could I actually vassalize? I've got a lot of money now. Could I vassalize the Gurids? Please accept as a most humble audience for your terms, my poor self. Could I offer all this money? No, just making vassals diplomatically just used to be fun and easy. Now it's kind of impossible. Um. Oh, provides garrison of Ayuran. What are the Ayuran? Oh, are they just like the basic swords? Oh, please tell me they're not, because I, I kind of hoping they were a better unit. But they're going to be the basic swords, aren't they? Wherever they are. Yeah, Ayuran. Oh, it's boring. Get rid of them. No one's interested in them. Give me more interesting things. Um, I could go with a crossbow unit, I guess. I'll just go with the archers for now. I'm not really too fussed about anything else. Um, these guys, can you recruit anything now? Yes, you can. You can take two spears, though. There you go. Um, and then you can spend money on provincial capital. I don't really need a fortress here. Um, I'll probably make Akka the fortress of this region. It's looking very, very squishy right now. Take... Where is that other army? Have I moved it? I think I have, but I could be wrong. No, I haven't. Carry on moving, sir. Um, I guess go and spy. Keep spying. Keep spying, see what they got. Yeah, let's just practice and get some assassinations on these guys. Ah, there we go. Got him. And then on to the next one. In the next turn. He's got an upgrade, so that's good. Um, you can have... What does Cunning do? Eventually brings down the agent action's cost. Okay. You can have public order, and then you can have assault an army. That'll be good. And then... Kind of done. Just end the turn. Oh, we've got skills for our... Our chaps. Okay, we can have... You can have personal influence. You can have that, and then you can have... That. And then you can have... Um... I don't need anything there. Have we got anything here that I could give you? Search rate, authority. I'll give you more authority, I guess. You can take tax, and you can take... Actually, 
Take tax and you can take that. There you go. Basra is going to be even more loving. End the turn and we'll see what happens. I expect a response from Jerusalem. If I don't, I'll be very displeased. Oh, Milan's just going to carry on doing its thing. You know, just wandering through the desert too. HRE, yep, here they come, on their big wander. I just hope they die like starvation. That army must be battered. I actually need to have a look at it and see if I can see any of the units. But that army must be just destroyed through um, starvation and just desertion. Such a waste. A Silesia sent an army very far north. Uh, they we want peace, Jerusalem. They can have peace when... I take uh, Cyprus. Or I could just take Cyprus. Oh, don't you dare, I was going to say, Ayubids. Don't do what I did. But it looks like the Jerusalem army, they had a full stack, like, not long ago. Did something happen to it? Must have. Must have. I mean, it must have happened to it. Ayuba pretenders are still being an issue as well. That's just obviously very helpful. Um, Ni Nicene Pretender's gone. We have a noble birth. Excellent. Carry on birthing more people. And Bane of Christendom. I'll move this guy all the way down here, I guess. He can go into Holmes. You can just take that. Whack him with your non-spiky mace. What are you whack? You're whacking him with like a club. A poor man. Occupy, and there we go. Akka is ours as well. We are spreading the empire more and more. Where did my army go? It got to there. He still didn't quite get all the way. There you go. Uh, and then we've got a free spot here. I'm going to put in some sanitation, and then I'm going to convert this to military quarters to just make that more happy. Akka then, what have you got here? Fishing wharf. Yeah, we can keep that. I think food is kind of obviously very necessary here. Akka's food is obviously in the minuses currently. That's not good. Um, repair that. We'll repair that. Hospitality headquarters. See, I don't think I can do anything with it. I'm going to just knock it down. Royal thingy though. I'm going to repair that and I'm then just change that to something else. Siege engineers will also just destroy that. Um, so we're going to need a bit of work on these two regions here. Because they were very highly Christian and now they're going to be becoming very highly Muslim. Well, hopefully, anyway. Hopefully. Though Islam is, yeah, it's not very strong here at all. <laughs> it's going to take a bit of work. A bit of work. Ray, did you have an ex... Has anyone had any sort of expansion? No, not really. Peace between the Ubid Sultanate and others of Toloi. I guess that's a good thing. Ah, Istafan had an expansion that I didn't know about. What do you need? Probably sanitation. Because your sanitation is awful. There we go. We can sort that out. Yads also is only plus one. But we can probably increase that with... What is actually the reason why you're so unhappy then? Religious differences still? I put in a huge mosque here. I can't do much more than that. Um... I will guess I'll put a small mosque in here, in Kerman. You're all fairly happy. What's this? Oh, it's a different type of mosque. I can't, I can't qua. I'll keep it. Makes it different, I guess. Something different. Um, I could change this. I guess it vassalizes and puts the Quasmarine Empire in, possibly. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, what's the actual happiness? It's 17. That's okay. You're perfectly happy, Mervyn. You've actually gone... Neutral as Gorgon, so that's good. So the North's actually getting slowly pacified anyway, so that's not the end of the world at all. Antioch, I presume we can't recruit anything interesting or at all. Um, this army is also recruiting stuff, that's fine. Are you actually activated? You are activated. I guess I'll end the turn one more time. Oh no, we've got stuff to do here. Taxes, and you can have that so you can get to integrity next turn. There you go. Carry on taxation. Taxation, taxation. It's 
all we do in the Abyssid Empire now, ex apart from expanding. We do a lot of that as well. Here, oh, looks like the HRE is actually trying to do some stuff. It's going to come upstream. Maybe it's going to come and try and retake Akka. Latin Empire. I need to make peace with some of these random people I'm at war with. Just get drawn into their conflicts for no reason. We implore you, show your strength. Mohammed, no. He's 73 years old. He's doing well. I don't think a single one of my leaders has got 73 years old. Question is, is Silesia's capital unoccupied? Because if it is, I might send a strike force into Antioch. And then I could send this army that's at Holmes to go and occupy Antioch. Strike force. Oh, it is. It's very much unoccupied. What's the garrison like there, I wonder? I don't think it's great. Oh, it might be. It's the capital. Oh, the pretenders for them are gone. We've had someone else die. Antioch's about to rebel. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we might need that other army. Oh, it is not actually that great. It is not that great. I'm going to stick you... Oh, let's just put you to here for now. Then, let's... I could actually go the long way around, but I don't want to. I just want to attack by sea. Don't mind me. Uh, yeah, okay, that's half and half. Then can I send in this army to, like, here? Possibly. I don't know if he'll make it back. Probably not. No, not at all. But we can take Sis from these guys. And, yeah, we've battered a few of their armies up. Occupy. The walls shouldn't be damaged. If they are, then I'm... Yeah, the walls are damaged, strangely, though I didn't attack from by, by the wall. So I'll repair all this. Repair the meat market, repair... Actually, no, let's knock that down. We don't need that. Um, city fort? No, we'll knock that down. And we'll repair that. And then you... Can you actually make it back to Antioch? No, you can't. We'll put you in there. And then I'll move you from Aleppo into Antioch. Uh, Antioch's looking okay. We'll put in a bed of sanitation. Acker definitely do with some stuff transforming i'm gonna make that into a stronghold that's basically all my money keep knocking down the hospital chapter house keep knocking down that can i convert this yet no it wouldn't cost much though only about two thousand and i'm already well two thousand seven hundred and i'm at two thousand four hundred i will happily make peace with some people like the latin empire if they want it or hungary speak quickly or do not expect the good one. like why am i at war with hungary still why are they still a Welcome, thing? I suppose. Why are we still even talking? Speak if you must. Yeah, why are they, just no you need to be a, no no need but, to be at war. I also am surprised that Portugal's not like thinking wanting trade, because like Portugal's all about that trade. All about that trade. Silesia, would you want peace now that we've uh Yes you would. Haha ha. speak. Hi, let's try one more then. That's low. Okay, well, we'll try 2,300. I don't need that much money, but I want to milk as much out of you as possible. Right, let's just do 2,000 then. Um, 2,000. That's high. Could I offer demand a wife? I could actually, but I don't want I don't want to. Uh, there we go. 2,000 will do. There we go. We have peace. They are at war with a few other people, but no one that I need to worry about upsetting because I've made peace with them. So there we go. We've made peace with them. I don't really want that bit of land anyway. Um, it also leave, means Sis won't be attacked just randomly by some guy now. Two into integrity. That army's now very happy. Excellent. Yeah, I don't know why you're there. Go into actual the actual army or the actual garrison. Then you can be converted to... Have we got camel... A camel train would probably be the best one. A camel train. There we go. We're going to need to put a mosque in here. And this is obviously going to need to get converted into a... 
probably I don't know which one. Which one's the best one? Maybe a oh, great bazaar would be amazing, but it's definitely not gonna be a great bazaar. Um, need to convert it to a grand pla ple pleasure house. A grand pleasure house, apparently. Um, yeah, no, we need to convert it to that really. Um, we've got stuff to upgrade over here. Okay, let's do that. You can convert more people to Islam, and you can persuade an agent. There you go. You can start to come over here. Actually, no, can we put you into the sea? I'd like to go and make you attack some people up there. Uh, there was a Georgian agent up here I wanted to find. They've not got many armies, I don't think. They've not got many armies. This army over here is pretty solid and happy. You can just... Uh, I guess I can give you morale. And I'll give you... That one and that one. There we go. That'll do. He's quite happy there. There's an army down here that was recruiting. Can this... This is finished recruiting, right? So I don't really need you in... That. that. Let's... Oh, I can't really recruit masses here. Cavalry... And I'll get the Nafatoons, I guess. Yeah, clearly Basra has been sucked of all its population. Um, yeah, population Basra is not looking so great right now. Available manpower? No, it's it's pretty it's pretty rough. But we've got a huge amount of population over here. Foreigners? Oh god, there's a lot of foreigners here apparently. Do you not like your foreigners? Okay. Anyway. That is probably where we're going to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. Sorry we didn't have a battle this time, but we've taken Antioch, Sis, and Acre. We've made huge progress in this part of uh, the Middle East. Next episode, I'm probably going to just take Famagusta, and I'm probably then going to actually start portraying the Ayyubid Empire. Maybe time to do that. And we could probably then also start planning on our assaults in the north against uh, Trebizond to retake some of this land here. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.